case four, okay, a 16 year old boy have come to a clinic, complains with, okay, ocular diplopia, especially for distance, right? For distance, there is diplopia for the child. Uncorrected vision were found out. Uncorrected vision is six by six for distance, right eye, left eye, both. Retinoscopy and acceptance plus one. Plus one, we have got a latent hypermetropy of around plus one in both eyes and the patient. With that also, the patient can read six by six. Patients complain, mind it, it is diplopia for mainly for distance. The patient cannot focus at distance. Whenever he's looking at distance, the patient is having a diplopia. Now see the NPC, it is so good. NPC is six centimeters. So it is so good. It is very good actually. Six to seven centimeters is very good NPC. Okay. Now see the cover taste. Cover test for distance, it is 12 prism base out, means 12 prism esophoria is there. The patient is having an esophoria of about 12 prisms. Near it is 12, 2 prism base in. Near there is very less amount of exophoria. Okay, 2 prism exophoria, definitely we can, uh, with our good fusional divergence, we can definitely, we need not any treatment and all, we, we can manage it. But distance, there is 12 prism esophoria. Okay. So definitely it is triggering your mind. Is the patient is having a divergence insufficiency? Why? Because distance esophoria is much more than the near one. Near there is a very less amount of exophoria. So there is a distance esophoria. Okay. Also the NPC is 6 centimeters. So convergence is normal. Basin for distance is x4 by 2. Near it is x16 by 12. So, basin value is less. For a 16-year-old, distance you can see x, uh, blur for, uh, no blur for distance, break at 4 and recover at 2. So, distance 1, distance basin value for distance, it is much lesser. That much lesser than the normal. Near it is quite okay. Base out for distance and near it is actually more than the normal. Actually more than the normal. Now coming to the AC by A ratio, it is 1.2 is to 1. Very less you can see. So NRA is plus 2.5. PR is minus 2.5. NRA PRA is absolutely normal. AC by ratio is only 1.2 is to 1. Okay. Now coming to the amplitude of accommodation, 16-year-old child accommodation should be 18.5 minus 0 0.3 into H, 0 0.3 into 16. Yes. <clears throat> 0 0.3 into 16. It is uh, 4.8, so 18.5. So it is around 13 diopter. Yes. 13. Yes, it is, should be around 13 diopter. Correct. So, here we have got a 12 diopter of accommodation for distance near. Okay. So, yes, her accommodation, the patient's accommodation is quite okay. Not exactly 13 diopter, but 12 is also fine. Monocular accommodative facility, right eye, left eye, it is 9 cycles per minute. It is quite okay. Binocular accommodative facility is less. You can see normally our binocular accommodative facility is better than the monocular accommodative facility, but her binocular accommodative facility is less. So here you can find that accommodative parameters are completely normal. Also, if you do see the MEM retinoscopy value is plus 0.5. That means normal lag of accommodation. There is no lead of accommodation or higher lag of accommodation. It's a normal one. So our accommodative parameters are quite normal for the patient. So what may be the case? Yes. Yes, what may be the case? <clears throat> what is, what is your opinion? What may be the case? Divergence insufficiency. Correct. It is a divergence insufficiency. It is a 
clear cut divergence insufficiency because there is a 12 prism esophoria distance near there is very minimal amount of exophoria so patient cannot patient's problem was also the same thing diplopia for distance okay so that was a patient's problem so divergence insufficiency is a case also you can see the ac by ratio is only 1 is 1.2 is to 1 that means normal ac by ratio se kam hai okay so it is an insufficiency case so it is 1.2 is to 1 means it is a divergence clear cut divergence insufficiency so we need to, to need to train that how to train divergence insufficiency how to train divergence we train it by the biggest thing is the um, triangles we can give anaglis can be the best one give, yes basic thing what we will give is that uh, the fusion uh, the free space fusion cards will give the free space fusion cards will give that means in a transparent sheet that live sieve card you have seen live sieve card all of you have seen that red green circles there are red green circles no so that red green circles we have to wear that uh, red green goggles and fuse that two red green circle and third circle will be formed in the between right so that normally we give on a printed sheet that means in a white page if it is printed material on a white page that is that kind of therapy we give for convergence okay to improve the convergence okay and if it is uh, like on a transparent sheet on a transparent that is ohp sheet you have seen overhead projector sheets transparent sheets so if the print is on the transparent sheet we can do the uh, like we can train the divergence okay how to train the divergence yes so the transparent sheet we have to hold in front of the patient give uh, it in the patient's hand patient has to put a pen or pencil at the back side of the transparent sheet look at the pen tip and slowly move it backwards okay slowly move it backwards now the two circles will fuse to form the third circle when the patient can see the third circle that means our divergence is like negative fusional divergence is stimulated okay see we are having uh, only this meeting will is going to end very soon again we will connect okay so it will abruptly end in very less than 1 minute please do connect with the same link okay we'll discuss this case okay so we need to train the divergence also how can we train the divergence we can train the divergence with the help of a brock string also how brock string will go from near to distance from near to distance okay so that's how the divergence will be trained so the patient is her 